Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over. We're going to be talking about a new mystery gift that is ending this Saturday. And as well as that, there's been some new potential leaks for Quoxley's evolution. Again, take them with a grain of salt. They might just be piggybacking off the massive Fue Coco evolution leak that we got recently. But either way, we're going to take a look at it. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's just go over a quick reminder for the Darkrai Mystery Gift in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It is ending this Saturday, the 30th of April, and if you do not claim this Mystery Gift by then, you will not be able to get Darkrai in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So this was just a tweet by Cerebi saying, Cerebi reminder, the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl member card distribution is due to end this Saturday, April the 30th at 2028 20, UTC. That's a bit of a random time for it to end but i think it's to do with like the moon or something it's actually a really really cool thing that they've done um for when like they started the event and ending the event it's, it's got an actual reason why it, it finishes at that random time but yeah all you have to do is obviously go into mystery gift receive mystery gift online via the internet bloody bloody blah, blah, blah get yourself a dark ride. of course this is shiny huntable so um as long as you get the member card before the 30th of april you can get dark right after that you just need to get the member card before the 30th of April. So, like I say, after today's video, if you haven't already, make sure to just jump onto Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Takes you two seconds. Get yourself a Dark Rye. I don't know why you wouldn't. But anyway, that is just the reminder for the mystery gift for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Next up, we're going to be talking about this potential new Quoxley Evolution leak. Um, that was posted on the r slash pokeleaks reddit or 4chan i'm not really sure it's popped up here it's all over twitter now as well um yesterday uh, this was posted by casabuta saying and after fue coco's evolution quaxley fine evolution just leaked again this isn't a leak at all it is very very likely to be fake um but it's still kind of fun to cover because you kind of kind of it's basically like concept designs i guess at this point like the fue coco evolution potentially could be real um still like not convinced by it but it has like not a high chance of being real but you know it's not downright fake where i feel like this one is um i think this is like i say just piggybacking off the hype that we got for the fue coco evolution it would not surprise me if sprigatito's evolution just conveniently popped up as well in the next like couple days or something because that's what usually happens um but anyway this is the image so as you can see it's like a duck um with a sword or something it doesn't really say the typing i don't think but i'm guessing this this strikes me as like a water steel type just because of the sword although that is going to be some painful thing going there like how does that sword fit in, in that wing i guess it's got some like wolverine action going on um but here we have it like i don't know smiling or something and then here we have it being angry this is like the back of it um and again still has this sword and then this is like the body i think uh, and then we have ash here i think this is to do with the to try and make this more believable i think so basically if you didn't see the incineroar leak way back before sun and moon came out um the concept art for that had ash in the alola anime um and then other characters in the alola anime on that kind of concept art so when those characters were revealed we kind of realized that oh my god they're actually real um so i think that's just kind of piggybacking off that as well just putting like another ash picture there again he's not like colored in and doesn't have like any real clothes it's just kind of like a very basic t-shirt and shorts you can just tell it's ash though uh, and then we have him here swimming with quoxley at the bottom and then this is his feet and then this is the sword which seemingly goes out and in but yeah this is the kind of concept art i guess for the evolution of quoxley um for pokemon scarlet and violet again very likely to be fake but i just wanted to cover it today let's see what the people of reddit are saying about it we've we'll also have it translated as well by pokey sutami um so again quite a few things to go over for this i think this is just someone trying to chase the hype of the fue coco leak so i say fake it surprises me that the person didn't bother to look for a japanese plastic bottle to boost authenticity so yeah basically on the fue coco leak they had like a japanese bottle um and like the left to try and i guess make it seem more legit the other was a lot more believable than this. Also, very convenient this came out after the other was well received. The funny thing about the other one is that kind of a lot of people on here were saying it looks too well done to be an official design page. Missing a turnaround, only showing well done, nicely made art of Fue Coco's evolution, well put together, etc. Now this one has a turnaround, shows different angles, character of the Pokemon, etc. Very funny. I'm still heavily doubting this even more than the Fue Coco leak, which is already in doubt, but we'll see, I guess. Isn't even remotely consistent with the Fue Coco leak anyway. Also, what is uh, what is even the source on this? 
honest, the art looks different and worse than the fake leak. I heard the complaints about the leak, uh, the last fake leaks numbers and no back pose and anime reference art. I made a concerted effort to res uh, to remove them. They even added in a picture of Ash when he saw people saying that the Gen 7 leaks had some anime stuff in them. Yeah, so that's what I was obviously talking about to do with like the anime and stuff. I don't know if it's the same person that posted the Fue Coco thing that posted this, um, but I'm not sure. I'm not buying this at all. I think it looks cool. Like, I really like the design of it. I, I, I'd, I'd be down for Quoxley to look like this as its final evolution. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think this is real. Um, but let's go over the translations for it. So this was by Poki Sutami. Again, link will be in the description down below. She says, new rumor translation. Read the thread for notes and opinions. If this is your work, please let me know. If you want, of course, I'll credit you. Uh, basically, TLDR Japanese is a bit strange. So uh, here we have it as uh, translated as grin and then angry and then side view, and then quack quack, and then foot, and then katana shoots out. So kind of things, you, even if you don't speak Japanese, you could kind of guess. I, I mean, it's literally a side view, that's literally it being angry, that is a foot, <laughs> and then that's just quacking there. Um, so yeah, they're the translations of it, and this is basically what she said about it. The Japanese is a bit strange in places. The biggest part that stands out is the foot. The writer wrote something similar to that, but the correct way to write it would be this. They made that too big and also missed a little dot. Additionally, both s -san and I think a Japanese speaker or someone proficient in Japanese would more like write that instead make of this information what you want and then please know although i personally think it's fake i never say anything 100 there is always a slight chance this could be by a non-japanese artist um so yeah i mean i think the fue coco evolution leak i think the japanese was like really good on that and then this one's obviously a bit off if the japanese is quite off then you can kind of just automatically say that it's fake because obviously all the concept art is going to be in japanese so that's kind of the biggest um red flag i guess if the japanese is wrong then you can you can kind of make out that it's fake but again the fue coco evolution um leak the japanese was like spot on for that which kind of gave it a little bit more reliability but yeah the, the japanese seems to be a little bit off on this one but that's all the quoxley evolution stuff and again the mystery gift stuff i'm going to finish today's video off by going over this which could be something to do with um the new gimmick for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet um so this was the original post where it said um this was by uh, delta uni uni yumi no tami um so they put some pictures of some crystal pokemon uh, tcg cards and then say that it could be what we're getting the four pokemon scarlet and violet saying these special pokemon are limited they are colorless type and have lost original types it is dyed to its type only when it's given an energy card so yeah these pokemon have no types so obviously we have lugi here that's a normal type uh, we have Kingdra here that's a normal type. And then, of course, we have a Nido King here that's a normal type. And they only gain their type when they're given an energy. So that could have something to do with um, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So Soul Silver Art quote retweeted this saying, This could fit perfectly. Man, I really can't figure out this silly little gimmick. There are so many components, but I know it's going to be something so simple, fun, and easy enough for kids to understand, but still changes up the competitive game. More gimmick talk throughout this week. So the Crystal Body isn't a type, it's an ability that allows the Pokemon to become one of three types based on the card when an energy is placed on top I mentioned these cards earlier when eclipse asked for a sneasel card the set has none and there's only like five in the set that um so yeah just what i said here is what i'm getting at something that allows the mon to become one of three types of the other pokemon in your party if this is the case as a zero out of ten gimmick for me i'm not sure if i'm gonna like the new gimmick myself keep seeing people saying that there's going to be a new typing but there is nothing that would indicate that plus they would promote it very heavily then there would be a new type plus what type would be needed when there are types that need buffs like bug types there's definitely no evidence for it but many fans myself included really want a new type so we keep posting about it again i don't know if a new type is needed i, I don't think the competitive scene would really benefit that much off a, a new type again we only needed fairy because dragon was just op um but yeah i mean like i say ice types need a little bit of a buff bug types need a buff grass types need a buff like there are already a bunch of types that do need something to happen so i guess if you introduce a new type it does give those types a buff if they're strong against it but at the end of the day will we really need a new type maybe maybe we finally get sound type light type who knows that's going to be everything for today's video though i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like down below let's try and hit 500 likes it really does help out leave a comment with your thoughts on what you think about this new potential quoxley evolution do you think it's real or not we still haven't had any word uh, or news on the fue coco one like usually the artist comes out and says i oh, know it's fake and we can kind of get some indication that obviously it is fake but no we've not had anything about that um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with this one. But let me know your thoughts on it. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.